Hi there, it's Mrs. Jackson, and today we're going to talk about how to build a HyperDoc using a template I created. After you've downloaded the template from the website, go ahead and go to File, Make a Copy, so you can start with a blank one, and name it with your topic. Neil Armstrong HyperDoc, and click Save, and it's going to populate a new one. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on the tab and pin it so I can't click X on that. And I'm going to go ahead and X out of the HyperDoc template that I originally downloaded. So here you're working with a fresh copy. I can change the title to match my topic. I can also click on the bottom right hand corner here, explore. And that's going to scan my document for topics that are in there. I'm going to click on Neil Armstrong. That's our focus today. Click on images. If I click, hold, and drag the one I want, it's already going to have the attribution linked to the image here with the link there. That way you're not plagiarizing. You're practicing good digital citizenship. You're seeing where you got that image. It was not your own. And then from there, I have already, you can see up here on the tabs, I have all of the content that I've screened already for my students up at the top. And I'm just going to insert it into the different cells on the, on the HyperDoc. If you are looking for a site that houses different images and vector graphics, I like to use this site called Pixabay. It has here what you can do uh, with the picture. This one says no attribution required, and then you can free download it here. Picture of Earth, it says free for commercial use. We're not using commercially, we're using it in our classroom, so it's okay. No attribution required, you just download it. Same with astronaut pictures and pictures of the Earth. I just look for the ones that say free and no attribution required here on the corner. And I download it to my computer and then I use it, I upload it to my drive. But in some most cases, I will just link the image from the source. So let's go ahead and fill out this activate one. So for activate, I'm gonna put, what do you know about Neil Arm? And just leave it at that. The bullet signifies to the student they need at least one sentence to answer. For explore, I'm gonna go to this specific site called Kittle. And there is information about where he earned his master's of science degree here. So when I go back to the explorer, I'm going to first right click this image, copy it, go back to my tab and paste it. So this doesn't have the attribution, but that's going to change because we're going to link this image to that site we got it from. So you click on the image and you click on this hyperlink here that says insert link, return to the tab that you were at and simply copy the link and insert it with the image and click apply. So now the students know to click on the image to access where they're gonna be reading this information that they're looking for. So the guiding question is going to be, where did he earn his master's of science degree? And the students know they're gonna find that answer here at the Kittle website. So I can go ahead and X out of that tab. Then the next one is NASA's site. I'm gonna right click and copy that image, put it here in the explain, and I'm gonna go back, copy the hyperlink, and again, attach it to the image by clicking that hyperlink icon and applying it. So now every time they click on that image, it's gonna direct them to that site. And the guiding question is gonna be, what was, Neil's life like growing up. And they're going to be able to access that information here in the site. It has some keywords, so you can teach that as well. I'm going to go ahead and X out of that tab. Now moving down to apply, I want the students to uh, tell me how do people become astronauts. That's going to be the guiding question. And I'm going to link the YouTube image that I had. You can also search, go to insert image, search the web, and I'm gonna go ahead and click, hold and drag. 
And now I'm going to give it the proper attribution. So that way, I'm not saying this is my vector graphic. I'm going to link it to YouTube. I already pre-screened the, the video about what do astronauts do and how do people become astronauts from the SciShow Kids, which is a YouTube verified channel. So you can check that out. And I'm going to link it the same way. Click on the image, go to the insert link on the image, and click apply. So now every time the students click on the YouTube image, they're going to get that link. And that link is going to link to this video that's going to give them the information for which the guiding question came from. So this is going to be a lot of legwork on the teacher's part where you have to go and screen all the content and then think of guiding questions for your students to look for so that they're just not exploring. They're exploring with a focus purpose. Next, I wanted to show you the site that I'm in love with called Creative Ed Tech. He is a he is a teacher in Rockland and he puts templates on his site that you can use in your classroom. One of the sites he created, uh, templates he created just so happened to be a Facebook on Neil Armstrong. So if you went on the templates and clicked on it, you just click use template and it's going to ask you to make a copy to your drive and this is what it looks like. It's just a Google Slides and they're going to edit the information about his life, the impact he made in his legacy using the things that they've read about. So this is the synthesizing of all of the other parts of the hyperdoc. So it even has a Facebook page for his friends. So it's gonna be a little bit about them searching and knowing this information through their reading. So how I would link that is I'm gonna go back to create. I'm gonna go ahead and insert another image. And I'm gonna this time put Facebook. So I can get an icon. I'm going to go ahead and click, hold, and drag. And it's populating the image. On here, I want students to have their own copy of it. I don't want them to edit the same copy, so I'm going to go to the sharing permissions and make sure that it's on can edit and anyone with the link is on can edit. A trick from another EdTech teacher I learned is after the backslash where it starts with edit, if you type in copy, it'll force a copy for the students. So they're not editing the same one. They're gonna do their own copy. So I'm gonna link that to this Facebook icon and click apply. And now I can type in the guiding question for that activity. I'm gonna put create a Facebook or Neil Arm. Using what you learn. And I can remove the bullet. And adjust the image so the tables can show. Then for my extend, I'm going to link another video from YouTube, copy that link, but this time I'm going to add a different graphic. I'm going to put thinking emoji. If you're really into that right now. And I'm going to put this one. Click hold and drag. It's your best friend. Resize that image by clicking the corner and linking it same way as I linked all the other images. Insert link, paste my YouTube link, and apply. So now I don't need that link. So now you can see it spans over two pages. All you have to do is really adjust the images and what size they are until everything fits on one page. I like to have it done that way so the students are not uh, scrolling up and down. It gets rid of that. So now it's almost there. There it is. So now it's all together. So the extension question here that went with the video is going to be, what did he first say when he stepped on the moon? 
then I'm going to have them research by using Google. This is going to, I've already linked it in my template because I always have the students go to Google or Google Scholar to find this part of their answer for the HyperDoc. The uh, question is find out how, should we find out what he did after his Apollo 11 mission? It actually describes it in some of the sites they have already read. And then the last one is sharing your work. Share your work with your teacher and your peers. So there's other things that you can do that are kind of just um, icing on the cake, if you will. You can go to File, Page Setup. You can change the color of the page. You can right click in each cell and change the color of each cell so that it's all different. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing, but you get the idea. So that's how you can kind of customize it. Two, if you wanted to differentiate for students um, to do one activity at a time, you could just say, do the yellow cell that day and that's it, or do the yellow and if we wanted to change this cell, do the yellow and, well, Let's do a color that they could then differentiate, right? Yellow and blue, and that's it for the day. And then you would just teach them to share it. Or if you push this out through your Google Classroom, it would say, turn in. And that's how you customize your own HyperDoc. Thanks for watching. And leave any comments or questions below.